Then who should we obey? If God commands one thing. But our husbands, our fathers, tell us another. We must follow God. So are we to defy them and leave our lives behind? Yes. Mary Magdalene is a sophomore film from director Garth Davis. It chronicles the title character's journey as she follows Jesus to become closer to God. To be honest, I haven't really read the source material in which these characters are based on, so I can't really speak to the faithfulness of the adaptation. However, what I can speak to is how bad this movie is. The film's biggest issue by far is its presentation. The score is overbearing and insistent that we feel emotions to scenes that carry none. Early in the film, there's a forced baptism scene, and due to some lack luster performances and some poor framing, the scene comes off hilarious, which is the exact opposite of what the scorer wants you to feel. Unfortunately, that's not the only scene in the movie that's like that. The two other miracle scenes also end up being hilarious due to some poor choices by the film's director. It's also pretty funny when Jesus cures a blind woman, as the film expects us to believe that she's blind just because she has her eyes crossed. The film's direction is so bad that not even Joaquin Phoenix can save the film. Joaquin's take on Jesus is something I haven't seen before. He portrays him as a man that has an intense passion to teach the word of God. His passion drives him to anger, sadness, and even joy. Unfortunately, the lead of the film is underwhelming. Rooney Mara's performance is so devoid of any genuine emotion that it makes her scenes with Joaquin Phoenix seem off. It's surprising how an actress so good could give such an underwhelming performance. This film could have been great, but it was ruined by some really bad directing. But anyway, if you can tell already, I do not recommend you check out this film, at least not in a the movie theater.